Welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill. For more information, go to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash daily dash devotional. This week we're looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 1 to 15, so let's read it together this morning. Today I'm reading from the message paraphrase. If I wrote any more on this relief offering for the poor Christians, I'd be repeating myself. I know you're on board and ready to go. I've been bragging about you all through Macedonia province, telling them Acacia province has been ready to go on this since last year. Your enthusiasm by now has spread to most of them. Now I'm sending the brothers to make sure you're ready, as I said you would be, so my bragging won't turn out to be just so much hot air. If some Macedonians and I happened to drop in on you and found you weren't prepared, we'd all be pretty red-faced, you and us, for acting so sure of ourselves. So to make sure there will be no slip-up, I've recruited these brothers as an advanced team to get you and your promised offering all ready before I get there. I want you to have all the time you need to make this offering in your own way. I don't want anything forced or hurried at the last minute. Remember, a stingy planter gets a stingy crop. A lavish planter gets a lavish crop. I want each of you to take plenty of time to think it over and make up your own mind what you will give. That will protect you against sob stories and arm twisting. God loves it when the giver delights in the giving. God can pour on the blessings in astonishing ways so that you're ready for anything and everything, more than just ready to do what needs to be done. As one psalmist puts it, he throws caution to the winds, giving to the needy in reckless abandon. His right living, right giving ways never run out, never wear out. This most generous God who gives seed to the farmer that becomes bread for your meals is more than extravagant with you. He gives you something you can then give away, which grows into full-formed lives, robust in God, wealthy in every way, so that you can be generous in every way, producing with us great praise to God. Carrying out this social relief work involves far more than helping meet the bare needs of poor Christians. It also produces abundant and bountiful thanksgivings to God. This relief offering is a prod to live at your very best, showing your gratitude to God by being openly obedient to the plain meaning of the message of Christ. You show your gratitude through your generous offerings to your needy brothers and sisters, and really toward everyone. Meanwhile, moved by the extravagance of God in your lives, they'll respond by praying for you in passionate intercession for whatever you need. Thank God for this gift. His gift. No language can praise it enough. Amen. You must each decide in your heart how much to give. And don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure. For God loves a person who gives cheerfully. So says 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. It's not what you said, it's the way that you said it. Have you ever said that to someone, or had it said to you? When someone says this, it means that the words don't matter as much as the attitude that was behind them. The same is true for God when it comes to giving. The amount we give isn't as important as the attitude we have when we're giving. After all, Jesus didn't commend the rich who were putting large amounts of money into the temple coffers. Instead, he highlighted the poor widow, who gave only two small coins. He wasn't interested in the amount of money, but the attitude in which it was given. He could see into the hearts of the givers. The rich were giving a tiny proportion from their surplus. It would make no difference to them and their hearts were cold. The widow gave all she had, and she revealed a warm, kind and generous heart as those two small coins dropped into the treasury chest. God is a cheerful giver. Think about all the things in our lives that he gives because he loves us and wants the best for us. 
and he's pleased when we give generously and joyfully because we are created in his image and the best thing we can do with our lives is to learn to be more like him. So let's be thoughtful in our giving. Let's examine our giving in our hearts before God and then choose to be decisive and cheerful in whatever we choose to give. When we stop to appreciate God's grace to us, then we will be ready to respond and to give our all generously and cheerfully. Today, as you go around your daily life, think about the following question. Why do you give? What do you think are valid motives for giving? And I'll see you back here soon for another battle drill. God bless you. We hope you have been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook or Instagram by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for our next daily devotional, Battle Drill. God bless you.